96 grams of carbs, 7.5 grams of fat, 48.9 grams of protein, 652 calories from this meal alone. Line them up, line them up, knock them down. Yeah. They said it was a grind. They said it takes time, yeah, I know. I guess they were in line. Every time I try to climb, they cut the rope. I fell straight to the bottom, got problems, I don't really wanna talk about them, no. I've been down this road too many times to be afraid I close my eyes when I walk down it. Good morning, YouTube. Back with the Prez, cooking with the Prez, full day eating, whatever you want to call this video. This is also going to be a physique update, eight days into the cut. So you guys can see it's 6.39 in the morning. I already used the bathroom, weighed myself this morning. And I'll show you guys on the app, hope you guys can see, waking up at 163.6. Body fat showing 13.0. The other day, yesterday, it showed 12.5, I believe. But again, that's all depending on how much water and sodium you took in the night before and how much food you took. Just check, just keep an eye on the scale, watch the numbers go down, and you can see yourself if you're getting leaner, right? So, 163.6 this morning, zero food in me, and I already went to the bathroom. So, standard breakfast as of late, guys. A little different than what you typically usually see. So I start the day, usually you guys know I'm very big on gut health, right? So I always like to have some type of beneficial bacteria or probiotic for the gut, which is going to prime the system for everything to come. So lately I've been drinking, or eating, I should say, a lot of raw yogurt. I get this from a farm delivered to me once a week. Remember, raw yogurt is unpasteurized, has all the enzymes still intact. Typically, the pasteurization process, when it kills the enzymes, known as lactase, that's what causes people to have intolerances because their body can't break down the lactose in the actual milk or dairy product. But when it's raw, unpasteurized, all the enzymes are still intact. has all the beneficial bacteria, really good for overall gut health, skin health. One of the best forms of protein you can get. Now, what I do, I put one cup, which is 170 grams, into a bowl. I top it with one cup of blueberries. Hope you guys can see that. And I top that with one half of serving pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, very high in healthy fats and protein. A complete vegan source of protein. One serving of uh, seeds, which is 30 grams, has 10 grams of protein in it. I put 15 grams on top just for some crunch, get some added healthy fats in, and again, more protein. So now we've got the real food. We have two sunny side up eggs, two pieces of Canadian bacon. I cut the egg intake down dramatically. I used to take four to six eggs typically every morning. But I definitely noticed that was causing a little bit of discomfort and gas and bloatedness in myself. Make me go to the bathroom more than I had to, right? And like always, guys, at the end, a couple spoonfuls of sea moss, and then I'll take my vitamins. So this is meal number one. I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm going to make this a high-carb thing on purpose, right? You guys don't see many carbs in this meal. Typically, no matter what, my breakfast meal always tends to be higher protein, higher fats, lower in carbs, just so I can stay almost in that fat-burning mode for the first few hours. The only carbs you're really going to see is the blueberries and whatever trace amounts of fiber is in these nuts and in, in these seeds. These seeds total for 30 grams, that's 3 grams of carbs. I have 15 grams, so I'm getting 1.5 grams of carbs in here. And maybe 5 to 10 grams of carbs from the blueberries, that's it. So, we're going to eat this meal. I got a client coming in 15 minutes, so we're going to put this down. I got a few clients today. I'm going to be training around 12.30, so I'm going to get one more pre-workout meal in after this meal, probably around 10.30. And I'll see you guys there. Let me eat. Alright guys, back in the kitchen for meal number two, which is the pre-workout meal. So it's just about 10.15. Told you guys I have a client that I'm going to be training 11 to 12, and then I'm going to start my routine, right? So I'll probably start training around 12.15, 12.30, just about two hours from now. Typically, I always like to have my pre-workout meal about 90 minutes to an hour before I train, but not going to be able to get, get it in an hour before I train today, so we're going to get it in now. Now, most of the time before I train, I always like to carb up, right? Typically, if you're going to be doing... High intensity work, reps and sets, you're going to need a sufficient amount of glycogen in the bloodstream and muscles in order to supply you for energy during that routine. Now I told you guys it's going to be a high carb day. Now remember guys, I told you in the previous video, two days ago I woke up at around 12.5% body fat. This morning I woke up at 13% body fat. So that was because yesterday was a high carb day. The two days before that were higher fat days. Remember carbs mean carbohydrate, right? That's the actual word. Carbohydrate, what does that mean? Hydration, right? So carbohydrates, they 
make you hold on to a little more water. That's probably why I was waking up at a slightly higher body fat percentage at 13% this morning, even though my scale weight was down to 163.6, right? Remember, carbs are going to hold on to a little more water. Most of the time when people drop carbs or go keto, the first initial weight loss they lose is the water weight, right? It's not really fat or muscle. It's just water weight coming out, being excreted because your body's not holding on to so much from the carbohydrate intake. So the pre-workout meal, guys, what I like to always have, something that's going to be easy to digest, not cause any bloating. So I like to have cream of rice. So one serving of cream of rice is 45 grams. When I was in my surplus of calories, I was doing two full servings, so 90 grams pre-workout. But, just because I'm in a slightly lower calorie intake right now, I'm still in a surplus. I'm eating around 31, 3200 calories. When my maintenance falls around 3000, I'm just going to lower the intake from 90 to a serving and a half, which is going to be 65 grams. So, like always, guys, you know I like to weigh my food out. So, we're going to weigh out 65 grams of cream of rice. Beautiful, 65 grams. So, what we do, we're going to just fill this up with water. So, we put 8 ounces of water. Gotta switch that to ounces. All right, 8 ounces of water. So, we're going to top the cream of rice with one half a cup of frozen blueberries. As soon as this comes out of the microwave hot, it's going to be steaming. These blueberries are going to melt right away and they're just going to cool it off a little bit. I'm going to top that with half of serving of grain-free, gluten-free granola. You guys have seen this before. So this is going to just give me a little bit of fats pre-workout, right? I don't want to have only protein and carbs where I have a big insulin spike, right? Remember, carbohydrates are going to release blood into the, into the, into the bloodstream. They're going to release sugar into the bloodstream. I'm sorry. And then you're going to have a response from the pancreas where it releases insulin to shuttle that blood, that sugar where it needs to go, right? So... In order to slow down the insulin spike and slow, to, slow down this digest and slow down the absorption of the glucose, we're going to have a little bit of fats in the pre-workout meal and a half a serving of the gluten-free, grain-free granola. And then again, on the side, guys, in water, I'm going to have one scoop of this new protein I've been taking in. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of Liver King, you know, the ancestral dude. Listen, I think he's a very smart guy. I can't personally follow that diet, but I do believe in a lot of the principles he talks about. So I tried his protein. It's a dairy-free protein. And this is combined, this is made up of, we got, we have beef, pro, uh, beef protein isolate, beef organ powder. We have heart, liver, kidney, spleen, pancreas, blood, colostrum powder, tallow. And this is chocolate, fla chocolate flavored, and no soy, none of that in here. You guys already know he's definitely against that the same way I am. So we're going to have one scoop of that. That's going to give us 21 grams of protein. And again, the majority of this meal is going to be very carbohydrate dense. because It's going to supply us with the energy we need for our workout. So once this is all ready in about four or five minutes, I will show you guys the finished product. Let's go. All right, guys. So just came out of the microwave. So what I do, I cook it a minute and 20 seconds. Stir it up, then I put it back in for another minute. Now, you guys can see it's steaming up right now. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through all this with you guys. 70 grams of the frozen blueberries, all weighed out, guys. Went a little over there. We hit 82 grams, but that's going to be like 5 calories difference. Not going to make a difference. And then we're going to put 15 grams of the gluten-free granola. Grain-free, of course, as well. And again, this is just to add a little bit of fat. And it's also going to add carbohydrates to the meal and a little bit of protein. So half a serving of this is 15 grams. Perfect, right on the dot. And what I didn't mention, guys, I actually just got an order of this. Everyone's talking about it. You guys know I have no problem against taking a natural supplement, something that with studies behind it to prove that it has effectiveness, just like creatine, glutamine. So if you guys have been a lot of talk around the internet, terchesterone. So me, myself, I do watch... I'm sure you guys too, Greg Doucette's channel. He has his own brand. I've never bought anything from his company before except this. And this is actually my second day trying it. This is HTLT Turk Builder, which is Turkesterone, which is basically supposed to be a supplement that's similar to creatine. It's supposed to put on, not an energy, not an energy store like creatine like that, 
but it's supposed to have similar effects. It's supposed to make you stronger and return put on more muscle mass, right? So we're going to try it out. No studies against it. It's not banned by water or anything, so I have no problems trying it myself, right? So he recommends for men to take six capsules a day. I ain't going to jump on the six capsules a day right away just because I never used before. And I want to see if I can get a little effect from using a little less dosage. So I'm going to use three capsules for the first couple of weeks. And then, look, I bought three bottles because he had three for like 100 bucks, so I bought three. So I'll use three capsules a day for the first couple of weeks, and then maybe I'll increase to six if I don't see the results that I'm looking to see. So I'll take three of these pills. Whoops. I'll take three of these pills as I eat this meal. So we got everything set up now. We got the one scoop of protein and water, 65 grams of cream of rice, 70 grams of blueberries, 50, 15 grams of gluten-free granola, and like I said, three of these Turk pills. I'm going to eat this, train my client, then I'm going to be in the gym, home gym, upper body session today, high volume, a lot of reps and sets. Let's go. Alright guys, back in the kitchen. It is 2 p.m. Just finished my workout literally five minutes ago. I had a full push session, pretty much all chest work, very minor shoulder work, getting a lot of volume and really trying to grow my chest this next couple months up. So, post-workout meal, guys, I told you it's going to be a high carb day, right? So, I just cooked up a pound of ground bison. You guys can see. I've talked about this brand, brand before. I get all my meat delivered from Force of Nature Meats. It's all 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef, bison. They have uh, pork, chicken, all pasture-raised meats. Probably some of the best kept animals you're going to find in the United States. And uh, honestly, guys, it's pretty cost-effective, right? I spend about $170 every three weeks, and it gives me enough meat to last for three weeks long, right? So we're going to weigh out first our carbs. So... We got the scale going. We just cooked up rice in the rice cooker. So we're going to weigh out 200 grams of white rice, guys. You guys already know, always white rice for me. Remember, like I was talking about earlier, right? When you eat carbs that are easy to digest, what's going to happen is it's going to cause a spike in blood sugar, right? Because the carbs are going to digest very easily. Once you have blood sugar in the... Once you have sugar rushing through the blood, that's when the pancreas releases insulin. Now, if you're insulin sensitive, meaning your body handles, uh, can take in sugar easily and insulin knows to do it very effectively, that means when you're insulin sensitive, that means the insulin will shutter the glucose where it needs to be. Post-workout, back into the muscles to replenish the glycogen, right? It won't be stored in the liver or in the fat cells. Now, if you have no reason... For your body to utilize those carbs, meaning you just eat carbs all day long and there's no place for the insulin to shuttle them, meaning your muscles don't need it, that's when it's going to get start get being stored as body fat, right? They're going to fill up the existing fat cells and make them bigger and they're not going to go to any muscles because the muscles won't need them. So 200 grams of white rice, cooked weight post-workout. I got probably another 60 grams of rice here. That'll be saved for the, another day. And then we're going to top that, guys, with... Six ounces of ground bison. We gotta switch this to ounces. And I'm gonna show you guys my full macro so far for the day to show you how the percentage is looking, protein for the day and everything so far. There you go, six ounces weighed out. So I already tracked everything prior on my fitness pal. So let me show you guys. So so far for the day, ready? Let me show you guys, let me get in focus. We are at, so far, three meals in, we hit 1,519 calories. Show you the macros for the day. Macros so far, we are at 45% carbohydrates, 28% fat, 28% protein. So we have so far 167 grams of carbs, all taken in pretty much between the pre and the post workout meal. Then we have 47 grams of fat and 106 grams of protein already. So, three meals in, I'm more than uh, three quarters of my way into my protein intake. I gotta get about another 50 grams in, and I'm good for the day. That'll get me right to around 160 grams. And I'm gonna have a lot of carbs later on in the day, too. I'm gonna have some pasta for dinner or probably some grilled shrimp. So, you see that as the next meal. So, this is the third meal of the day. 
Sometimes if I don't eat this meal right away post-workout, I'll have a protein shake. And lately, guys, I've been drinking back on the raw dairy. I have raw sheep milk. Raw sheep milk is very high in calories, higher in calories than cow, goat. It's higher in fat. And then both of those combined, it's higher in protein and easy to digest, to digest because the fat uh, molecules in here are very small. They digest very easily in the body. So if I wasn't going to eat this meal right away, I would drink some raw milk post-workout. Again, very good at spiking the insulin and full of beneficial growth hormones and everything when you get it raw from a healthy animal. So, post-workout meal, we got scrap trying to eat it already. Six ounces of ground bison, 200 grams of cooked weight white rice. And I told you guys it's going to be a carb-heavy day. That means tomorrow I'll probably go higher fats, right? So, two days high carbs, one day high fat, or two days high fat, and I cycle it like that pretty much. I'll let my carbs deplete over the two days, and then I'll start increasing and looking a lot more fuller when you start taking in those carbs. Your body you will utilize them a lot more efficiently. So, post-workout meal again, guys. You guys can see I've got a nice little pump going on too. So, three meals down, and we're 1,500 calories in. We have another 1,500 calories to go that I'll get within another two meals. So, see you guys at the next meal. All right, guys. It is dinner time, and we got the wonderful girlfriend, Jacqueline. Cooking up a nice meal here. She's got a salad going on. We got some feta cheese, cucumbers, tomatoes. Everything's gonna be tracked, guys. This is what we're eating for dinner. This organic linguine pasta imported from Italy. Take that down. We got the shrimp going over here. Wild caught shrimp, of course. She's got her garlic sauce going. And uh, you guys are gonna see when it's time to eat. It is just about 6 p.m. Just finished with all my clients for the day. It's been a long day. And uh, let's get this meal in. I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys. You already know. About to eat this meal. You guys saw Jackie set it up. It's about 6.25 right now. So we're still going to put down one more meal after this to call it a wrap for the night. Right? So you guys saw the pasta. We got one and a half servings right here. Guys, look at this beautiful bowl of grilled shrimp that she made. We got... A tomato, cucumber, and feta cheese salad. And uh, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to eat about six ounces of grilled shrimp. I'm going to weigh it out after this. I'm going to have a little bit of tomato, cucumber, feta salad. And uh, to wrap, guys, I'll see you guys at the next meal. All right, guys, thank you in the front. We're going for our third serving. So... I'm just estimating, this is probably about two and a half to three totals, total servings. So I started with one and a half servings, just topped it off to make it a full two servings. And look guys, I'm going to track everything with you. I'm literally doing this just because I love this pasta, it's banging. And to prove to you guys, not that I wouldn't eat this, not to prove to you guys, but I'm literally showing you guys that you can lose weight regardless of if you have a high carb diet, high fat diet. Me personally, I like to go high fat days, high, high carb days. And you guys are going to see how I track and everything. So we're going to track all this right now. So we got the pasta that I scanned earlier. I already tracked it to one and a half servings. I'm going to switch that now to two. We're going to track everything on point right now. We had the grilled shrimp. I had six ounces of grilled shrimp. We had feta cheese. Crumbled feta cheese. We're going to say we had about an ounce, one serving. Gives me another 70 calories. We had cucumbers and tomatoes. Cucumber. Check. And tomatoes. Baby tomato. Boom. Alright, so. Total calories for this meal is sitting around 652 calories. I'm going to show you guys. So look. We have, look at that, this meal alone, 96 grams of carbs, 7.5 grams of fat, 48.9 grams of protein, 652 calories from this meal alone. Look guys, we are going to be at, so far, 2,171 calories for the day out of 3,000. I still have just about 800 more calories to go guys, and you guys can see. Carbs, I'm 48% carbs so far. Fats are at 23%. My protein's at 28%. So I'm currently at 155 grams of protein 
and only 55 grams of fat. That means I'm going to eat a little bit more protein and some more fat the majority later on in the last meal of the day. So I will see you guys. I'm going to finish this second serving up right now. Finish this up and then I'll see you guys when I eat the next meal. Peace. And, and look at this, Jackie's. She cooked and cleaned. Get yourself a woman like this. All right, guys, so we're in the kitchen one more time, and this is the final time I'm going to be eating today. This is my snack or my dessert, whatever you want to call it. Just me wrapping up my calories, and like always, guys, I already tracked them before I ate them, so I already know what I'm going to be coming in at. So what we have here is we have two slices of gluten-free toast. I'm going to show you guys the brand right now. I use... Canyon Bakehouse Gluten-Free Cinnamon Raisin Bread. Two slices. Gives me 32 grams of carbs, right? So on top, I have one serving of peanut butter. That's 32 grams of peanut butter. And one serving of honey. That's 21 grams of honey. So, two slices of bread, basically a peanut butter and honey sandwich. We have one serving of Magic Spoon. Guys, go hit up Magic Spoon. Tell them, sponsor me again. Start sending me some packs. Give me another discount code so I can hook you guys up. One of my favorite flavors right here, maple waffle, so 38 grams of Magic Spoon. We got six ounces of almond milk in there. We're going to put this banana in the cereal, and then I'm going to drink on the side just one more cup of almond milk. And to show you guys what we're finishing off with, total calories for the day. So, we're going to come in here close. We're going to end the day with 3,004 calories. You can see that snack meal right there. It's going to be 774 calories. That rounds out the 3,000. And so total macros for the day, guys. We got 47% carbohydrates coming in at 364 grams. Fats are at 29% coming in at 99 grams for the day. And protein, 182 grams, making up 24% of the calories. Now those are ideal numbers for me. About three to four days a week. The other three days is when I have higher fats. Protein, I like to keep consistent, right? I like to keep it around between 165 to no more than 200 grams of protein, depending on the type of food I'm eating for the day. Typically, when I'm eating higher fats, the protein is going to be a little higher because I'm eating fattier cuts of meat in bigger portions. So, literally, I'm showing you guys, I literally eat whatever I feel like eating. It's 99% whole foods based, not processed food. Everything is whole food, minimal ingredients. Everything I'm preparing, and I'm just showing you guys, look, as long as you track your calories and track your macros and you get the protein in, it really doesn't matter if you're having higher carbs or higher fats. I like to manipulate them a little bit to work for my goals better. And again, guys, this is just to show you, it doesn't really make a difference. You can eat whatever you want to eat. The, board, the diet doesn't have to be boring and routine. Yes, I eat the same foods in and out, the same food groups, but I switch it up, mix it up. Have them in different variations, right? And you guys see, look, I ate pasta today, rice, peanut butter and honey sandwiches, cereal. So I'm not lacking uh, anything in my diet. You know, I'm satisfied with all the foods I eat. I enjoy it. So that's the wrap of the day, guys. 3,000 calorie cutting diet. 3,000 calories is just about maintenance. So typically I'll be eating, like I said, I'm eating around 31, 32, 3,000 calories around that number on a regular basis right now. Not trying to go under maintenance yet. I still have another three weeks left on this cut. So maybe towards the last week and a half, maybe I'll drop them down to around 2,800 if I want to accelerate fat, fat loss a little bit. But you guys can see, end of the day, physique update. And uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to give you weekly updates on the diet, the cutting progress, and everything. And I promise you, next video that we do the full day eating, I'll try to do one a week now during this cut. I will have it a higher fat day of eating. So... Like always, guys, I appreciate the support. Share the video. Like the video. It really help, helps the algorithms out. If you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you guys. And peace out. Vaughn Naturals. For a dime, top three. For a dime, top three. For a dime.